сезон към приключенията и войната между Маргарет Уелс и Лидия Куигли се присъединява и нова героиня в лицето на Леди Фитц. Ролята й се изпълнява от американската актриса, която ще трябва да говори с английски акцент във втори сезон, Лив Тайлър. She's an English aristocratic woman. She's very fancy, <laughs> very wealthy, very elegant, very different from the world of all the harlots. Lydia Quigley is a formidable opponent. What are you doing here, Mrs. Quigley? She is aware of something that Lady Fitz is hiding, and so for years she's been kind of coming to her and, and getting money from her. You must visit Lady Isabel. She is the key. I don't think that Lady Fitz probably wants to harm many people, but I think she might want to harm Lydia quickly. Persuade them. Which is really hard, because I love Leslie Manville, and I love acting with her. Mm. Thank you. I think that Lady Fitz is so desperate for a connection that's real, and she sees that instantly in Charlotte. The notorious CW. They have an unfortunate first meeting. She's pressed me to threaten you. Why? Did she hold your secret too? Within minutes, they start talking and there was just this meaningful connection that they have. I want to destroy Lydia quickly. So do I. Then we'll be allies. I was really riveted by the world and uh, the period. I mean, being an American, there was so many things I didn't know about. It's another side of, of history that we haven't seen. What do you want? You friends of high standing. <laughs> Women will always be at the mercy of men's power. It's not your power we're at the mercy of. It's your weakness. <laughs> This could be a house where men go for something different. House of exotic. How many men have you had? I'm a harlot. I don't keep count. <laughs> Men think they're untouchable. They're being poor. It's the worst crime you could commit. Pleasure is my business. I want to destroy Lydia quickly. As you wish. Тайлър има същия младежки заряд като в клиповете на Aerosmith и първият филм, в който направи впечатление на света – Откратната красота. С харизматичната си усмивка и дълги разпуснати коси като запазена марка, за отрицателно време тя прави поредица от хитове. Участва в Армагедон, заедно с Брус Уилис и Бен Афлек, а една от най-емблематичните й роли е в епоса «Властелинът на пръстените», като принцесата на елфите Арвен. и голяма роля за телевизионна продукция е като Мек Абът в сериала Останалите. От няколко месеца Лив живее в Лондон с годеника си Дейвид Гарнер и двете им малки деца. Тя има и трето по-голямо дете от първия си брак. I moved to England and I had um, I have an English fiance and I have um, two young babies and I was feeling quite brave for some reason after I had Lula and I moved here and I thought you know I want to give it a go living in Europe and being in, in England and I want to work and so I I've got a wonderful agent that I really love and she came to me with this project. Park's closed today. Really? Why? It's October 14th. No, nowadays a lot of actresses say that it's very hard to get good parts mm-hmm. as, a, as a woman. Um, how would you compare Lady Fitz in your own filmography and is there another character of yours that perhaps has stuck with you longer that you really, really like? I like all my characters. I mean, I don't, I've always been relatively picky and that my main goal was sort of to follow my heart and find the projects and the characters and the filmmakers and the writers that sort of spoke to me. But like The Leftovers, I remember reading that and uh, there was only a pilot 
and my character had like two scenes and I completely became obsessed with this person and went after them to, to play the part because she wasn't um, original, like she's not always in it. I wasn't one of the main, main characters, but I really liked that character for some reason, so. <laughs> How did your um, actually choice of roles, of roles and characters evolve over the years? So much of it has to do with your life circumstances and what's going on and where you're living and, you know, like anyone's jobs and things that just when you think you've got it all figured out then something else happens or you, you know. Um, Was it hard to grow up in front of so many people watching and following these choices? At different times, yeah. I definitely... Um, I think that when I first started, I think I was 13 or 14 or something, and um, modeling and then acting. Um, and I felt like I was kind of guided into a path in a way, which at the time I was kind of annoyed by because I just wanted to be with my friends and be in school. And it sort of found me, and through it I found myself, which was an amazing thing, and I felt very grateful for that. Um, to, I, I didn't really have any classic training and if you'd asked me if I wanted to be an actress when I was a kid I wouldn't have said yes I don't think um, but it was something that was really important for me and is still very important for me to express myself and find myself and so I'm very grateful to it. I always really wanted to be a mom and to be a family unit because I had such an eccentric I had a really beautiful family, but it was like, I lived with my mom for a while, my aunt for a while, my grandma, and I had two dads, and I, I was so, so my, I think my greatest motivation has always been to have a family, and I get the greatest pleasure out of that. Mm -hmm.